How are we doing? Puccini has long been regarded as one of the most important opera composers. The infinite subtle shades of color in his score, the way he's written it. And we have to try and create this constantly shifting light. Yep, good, here we are, third act, everybody. For instance, when the snow gently falls, we all know that winter's afternoon, you know, when the night comes too early and everybody is better off inside than out. All that is colored by Puccini with the hand of a master. Puccini wrote it so, so clear and so beautifully. There is no way that you can just sing something and not, uh, and, and sing something without feeling it, without showing it, without, without telling it uh, yeah. in, with your body. I think Puccini wrote La Boheme in that way that it's, it makes easy for singers. Uh, for example, character of Mimi and role in Mimi, uh, of Mimi in general, it's written in a very, very simple way, and and she just says everything. It's it's many many phrases are just very natural. The naturalness of the delivery in beautiful Italian, of course sung in a, a lovely way as well. Getting the combination of speech and melody is hard in Puccini because he was a master of little things, little inflections. What they do, what singers have to do up on the stage there in a work like La Boheme is phenomenally difficult. It's very demanding physically, vocally, emotionally, dramatically. Puccini tries to make the change in speed of natural conversation clear in the way he writes it down. But everybody has to be very alive to that. And if he doesn't say slow down there, he says it there in the next bar. Don't do it in that bar. But that's really hard if you've always done it in that bar. I mean, for instance, this, this is really hard for Odin. I mean, the grace note is like a shiver, isn't it? But don't be late. Sometimes when you do Puccini or Bohème, I don't know why we singers, we, we take some freedoms. And um, I mean you. <laughs> No, 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 hey, and, 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 and it's really good to, to, to go back to the score and what is written. And then it's good to get like whipped a little bit and like so like jump back to the score, like read exactly what it says here. So you know why exactly he wanted it, because if you do it that way, actually it would sound even freer. Everybody always says, oh, but they say stille, and I can't do that on two quavers. You can. Stille, you can do the double L and make Marco happy, yeah, and Puccini happy. Mi prefer sing stille. It's just then up to us to convert that into what we do on stage. That we, that we, if, as long as we follow the recipe of Puccini, it will sound very, very free, and I can totally understand why. But it's nice to get press that reset button and go back and then ah, that was a quiver. Yes, mm. yes, yes. Somehow we have to together, all of us make one piece of music, not a, not a series of little events. <laughs> it's a virtuoso piece for everyone. The orchestra, the chorus, the small parts, the big parts. The wood, three, and one. We're talking about a coral reef, aren't we? You know, you put your head underneath the, the water in the sea and you just see this mass of colour and activity and you're trying to make some sense of it, trying to make it have form and clarity. And that's not to say that I don't take a few liberties myself because I feel that it's stronger that way, but that's not until I have tried what's printed. 
and one. La storia mia è breve. Sometimes, with great emotional and musical, purely musical effect, Puccini allows a character to have a monologue. And the way he balances his melodies and his speeches is quite unlike anyone else. Puccini's way has a certain melancholy in the melodies, as well as a radiance. There's a certain type of melody that he had that lodges itself in people's hearts. And it's allied to the fact that he wrote so well for the voice. Not a single measure, not a single tone that is wrong or out of place. It's just a, a work of genius. It's pop music because it's really, it's coming one hit by another and you can really get involved and you can still hear all those melodies in your mind when you go home.